The Wall of Flesh went down in the last video, and here we continue our Terraria Calamity playthrough with our band of three veterans and one Terraria newcomer. I feel like it's been a nice introduction to the game for the newbies so far. We were all having fun until things suddenly took a sharp turn for the worse. The Lunatic Cultist and Moon Lord. The final two bosses of base game Terraria before we got into all the extra Calamity mod content. I knew going in that Moon Lord would be an agonizing experience, no different from every other time we fought him. But Lunatic Cultist? I didn't remember ever really struggling with him, so I thought he'd be a tiny traffic cone we'd kick over on the way to challenge Moon Lord. This traffic cone broke our fucking toes. Dude, the lightning is obnoxious in multiplayer. Holy sh- The Lunatic Cultist is nuts on multiplayer. The man grows in power the more the odds are stacked against them because of two things. The lightning orb and his find the real one minigame. The lightning orb fires a few lightning projectiles at every player near it. Generally, you don't gotta worry about those fired at you. The problem is those fired at your friends. We got blasted, bounced around by lightning barrages so many times whenever we happened to be near each other during the fight. The lightning, oh, the, the lightning! lightning! There you go. Yeah, that I see go, what you bro. mean. I see what you mean, I think it's fucking broken. <laughs> then you have this goofy Mario Party minigame where you have to hit the real lunatic cultist and not his clones, or else he summons a giant dragon that does massive damage, is insanely difficult to dodge, and has more health than the lunatic cultist himself. Why does he summon an enemy that's stronger than him? Then, while you're dealing with the dragon, he periodically does the clone test again. And if you mess up again, because you're distracted by a giant dragon, he'll summon more and more clones to help him during the fight. Fuck, Fuck, he got I it off! Well, um, no! He's got four clones now, me. for fuck's sake. <laughs> this boss snowballs out of control so fast. A single accident here from anyone on the team can ruin the entire fight. This isn't a co-op game anymore. This is co-op bomb defusal. I couldn't hit that without hitting its clone! Alright, I gotta hold ah! He's using more spells, he's desperate, he's fucking desperate! Right, Don't choke! Don't choke! Ow. I think he's gonna play. Oh no, the oh. ice droplets! No! no! Lightning! Oh no, just fucking kill him before it- Yeah! yeah. Oh. The dragon's still here, oh Jesus Christ! We eventually get the best of the lunatic cultist though, and brute force our way through the pillars, as per usual. Next up is Moon Lord, and this is where the pain truly begins. Moon Lord kicks our asses every playthrough, but this time, we were also forced to watch a new player lose the light in their eyes. Szechuan was broken by the end of this fight, and I don't think anyone can blame him. I'd even say it's a rite of passage of sorts. You're not a Terraria fan until Moon Lord makes you hate the game. Dude, you can't- this boss sucks me. Fuck. Why is this take? This is fucking boss. <laughs> Our strategy for Moon Lord basically has us taking shifts like it's a part-time job. One or two people at a time duel Moon Lord while the leftover players wait elsewhere for the others to inevitably die to Moon Lord. This gives the dead players time to respawn so we can essentially fight forever. The only problem is this takes literal days of in-game time for each attempt, especially since this is before the 1.4 patch, so the goddamn stupid ass third eye on his forehead won't fucking open, meaning we can't kill it. I'm fighting this guy for like three days, dude. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I've done another 3%. You're welcome. What can I say? You'll also notice the new player's morale plummeting. It's your turn, Nick. I made a mistake. Can I leave? Wait, oh my god, I can't believe I woke up today. He <laughs> just spawns on me and kills me. Wait, Nick. Don't die. You're, you're uh... Alright, I'll oh. try- I was dead, I won. Well, we finally killed Moon Lord. Pretty anticlimactic. His health bar in the corner was broken, I don't know what was up with that. His health bar under the heart seemed to be correct though. Either way, he's dead and we can move on. But at what cost? 
we may have destroyed Moon Lord's heart. However, the new player also got wounds on his heart that might never heal. We took him in for his first playthrough of Terraria straight to Calamity Expert mode. That's like if he had never been swimming before and we threw him into the deep end of the pool because the shallow side would be too boring for us. And then he drowned. I mean, it wouldn't be such a big deal if Moon Lord were the final boss and this struggle happened. Just a bit of a bitter aftertaste on an otherwise enjoyable playthrough for him. But those of you that know the Calamity mod know that this is just the beginning. I've seen how we do against Providence, and let me tell you, it is not pretty. We're going to start a new playthrough whenever Calamity gets ported to the Team Mod Loader 1.4 update. This is more of a warm-up playthrough than anything else. We've been skipping bosses and going in undergeared and stuff. I'm just saying, I don't think this train is making it to the station. If you never hear about this playthrough again, assume it's gone off the rails and is somewhere out there as a smoldering wreck. Don't bother sending help.